Hey guys, I'm Dustin Harding with Athlon Optics. Today I'm going to show you how to update your Cronus ATS thermal monocular using an iPhone. We're going to start by powering on the device. If you haven't already done that, go ahead. And then we're going to use the second button here. We're going to hold it down to access our menu. We're going to toggle the Wi-Fi setting on, and then we're going to hold that second button again to exit out of the menu. And we can see in the lower left hand corner that our Wi-Fi signal is now on. We're going to go to the Wi-Fi settings on our cell phone and we're going to connect to this device. If you haven't connected to this device before or any other Athlon Thermal, you're going to use the password 12345678. That is your default password. Okay, once connected, we're going to go into the Athlon Thermal app. And we can see here, enter, we can enter the device or about device. The upper right hand corner, we're going to click about device. And here we're going to see check for updates. We're going to go ahead and check for an update. We do have an update, so we're going to go ahead and click update. It's downloaded to the phone and it's transferred it over to the thermal monocular. If we look through the thermal monocular display, we're going to see a progress bar. That's going to take a minute to fill up. Now our progress bar has filled, it's powered down. We're going to go ahead and turn that back on. We're going to hold that second button again and turn our Wi-Fi back on. Hold it to exit the menu. I can see in the lower left hand corner my Wi-Fi has been activated. That's great. We're going to go back into the app here, or not the app, we're going to go back into the cell phone here and connect to the device's internet its Wi-Fi signal. All right, we are connected. And we're just gonna confirm that this is up to date. We're gonna go into About Device, check for updates, and we're updated. It succeeded, we're good to go. This works for not only the 35M400 that we're using today, it also works for the 35ML-400. Today I'm gonna to show you how to update your Cronus ATS thermal monocular. We're going to be using an Android tablet. This would also work on your Android phone. The steps are different from Apple, so if you own an Android, pay attention to this one. It is slightly different. This is the 35M-400. This would also work for the 35ML-400. So we're going to start by powering on the thermal monocular. If you haven't done that, go ahead and turn it on. We're going to hold the second button here to access the menu. Once we do, we're going to toggle the Wi-Fi signal on and then we're gonna hold it a second time to get out of the menu. You can see in the lower left hand corner, the Wi-Fi signal is activated. So now we can use our device, whether that's our tablet or our cell phone, and we can connect this device to this unit's Wi-Fi signal. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna look for the Cronus ATS 35M-400. There it is. If you haven't connected to this before, it's the same password. It's the generic default password that we use on monoculars and rifle scopes. It's 12345678. So once we're connected to the Wi-Fi signal, we're going to go into our Athlon Thermal app. And here we can see that the device is connected. We're going to go to About Device in the upper right hand corner. It's going to put us into a portrait mode. Okay, just flip it around and we're going to check for updates. It's going to prompt you that you need to check your internet connection. This is where it's a little different. We're going to go back into our internet settings and we're going to connect to our internet, whether that is cellular or in this case we're using the Athlon office Wi-Fi connection. Once we've connected, we're going to go back into the Athlon thermal app. We've never closed it out. Don't, just toggle back and forth and we're gonna check for updates again. So we do have an update available. We're gonna go ahead and download that. And the download's complete. So now we're gonna go back into our Wi-Fi settings and we're going to select our device's Wi-Fi signal again. Once that's connected, toggle back into your Athlon app and hit update. This is gonna transfer from your Android tablet or your Android phone to the device. Once it's done so, you're going to see a progress bar through the eyepiece. That's going to take a minute or two to uh, finish transferring and updating. Once it does, the device is going to power down. 
and then we're gonna power it back on and we're gonna double check on the app by going through the same step of connect this device Wi-Fi to the app and check the about device setting up there in the upper right hand corner and it will tell you if it requires any updates. If it says no updates available, then your update is successful. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, visit athlonoptics.com for more information on the Athlon Thermal System. Thank you. Athlon, ridiculously good optics.